What's up, y'all? It's Daniel Yershumalier. I haven't been shy about the fact that I greatly enjoy the Nike and Sakai collaborations. In fact, my favorite collaboration just happens to be the Vapor Waffle, which I have here in, well, the green and yellow colorway, which matches the nonprofit organization I work with, really matches the state from which the nonprofit is based. I also greatly like the Nike and Sakai Blazer Low, and I have green and white, so you can see that there's a green and white and a little bit of yellow or a lot of yellow motif going on here. So imagine my excitement when I saw that Sakai and Nike were working on a collaboration for the Cortez silhouette. And imagine my surprise again to see that these shoes are basically sitting. Now don't get me wrong, you can't find these shoes for retail unless someone restocks or they get their shipment in late or anything like that. However, resale is not that bad right now. And for a huge brand name in streetwear and a huge name in shoes, Nike and Sakai, I'm just shocked to see that this shoe is basically sitting and that you can grab it for a pretty decent price. So today I wanted to give you five reasons why I think you should consider purchasing the Nike and Sakai Cortez. Reason number one is price. This shoe retails for 160 US American dollars. However, on retail sites, depending on your size, you can get the shoe with fees for about $80 more. $160, we get up to $240, a lot more than retail, I get it. But honestly, it's not a whole lot, especially when you look at some of the Vapor Waffle colorways. So maybe consider it a win since you'd be paying less than $100 everything included fees shipping taxes authentication whatever less than a hundred dollars for a resale shoe these days not too bad second reason why you should consider buying this silhouette this shoe is stylish and quirky yes it's stylish because it's a clean looking silhouette and it is a little quirky because it has that double everything sakai signature look the double laces the double tongue the double swooshes the double soles it's quirky because well it has that little air pocket right there in the front it has the multicolor sole. It has the little heel that sticks out on the back. Again, the double of everything. It's just quirky and it's stylish enough just to say, hey, my shoes are kind of cool, but not too crazy. But depending on your point of view, crazy enough. So that's why I think you should consider this shoe. Reason number three, this silhouette is a reboot, if you will, or modernization of a OG retro silhouette. That's right, the Cortez is a shoe that has been around a long time, and this takes that shoe and goes, let's try something new and different. Now, if you're tired of the whole Sakai shtick, the whole gimmick of doubling everything, I guess maybe you're just not interested in that. And that's okay, you do you, don't sneak your shame, whether you like it or not. But for me, I recognize the Cortez silhouette. I love the Cortez silhouette, and I love that they've modernized it with some little bit of nuances and details and changes that give it a modern look and give it a contemporary look, and again, a stylish and quirky look. So if you like the Cortez, if you like retro OG silhouettes, well, this silhouette should be for you. Reason number four, why I think you should consider this Nike and Sakai collaboration, it's kind of comfortable. Now, don't get me wrong, it is not crazily comfortable like Boost or React, okay? And I honestly think the Vapor Waffle is more comfortable than this silhouette, but this is pretty comfortable. The Cortez isn't a greatly comfortable silhouette when you really think about the OG technology that goes into it. Back in the day, it felt pretty fine. Nowadays, eh, not so much. But I think with the whole doubling of the sole, they have some different technologies in there. You have the bubble, you have the air. I think this takes it to another level of comfort. Not the most comfortable, but definitely not the least comfortable. So I say it's also comfortable. And for that reason, you should consider purchasing the shoe. And reason number five, why I think you should consider this Nike and Sakai collaboration on the Cortez silhouette. You wanna support America. It's red, white, and blue. Not your thing. You wanna support France. It's red, white, and blue. Maybe you want to support the Netherlands. Red, white, and blue. Maybe you want to support Iceland. Red, white, and blue. Or any of the countries in the world that utilize red, white, and blue on their flags. This shoe, this silhouette, this colorway is for you. And if not, then maybe just because you like red, white, and blue. But that's five reasons why I think you should consider purchasing the silhouette and colorway. I like the shoe. I think it's great. I have it. Give it a shot.
And there we have it, my five reasons why you should consider purchasing the Nike and Sakai Cortez collaboration. Let us know in the comment section down below. Do you like this silhouette? Do you not like it? Would you prefer a different colorway? Does it even matter to you? Are you over the whole Sakai double everything on a Nike shoe collaboration? Let's talk about it in the comment section down below. So to all of you out there, wherever you are, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and just chill. Till the next episode.